Welcome to this video. Last time I installed OpenWRT on Redmi router, so this time I'm trying to install Padawan, which is also compatible with this device. The Padawan project is hosted on Bitbucket, but some people claimed it to GitHub and uh, compiled the source code. So I am just downloading the compiled firmware, try to flash it on the router. By default, when installing operating system, we flash the image into the firmware partition. But this device has a different partition table. We need to split the Padawan image into two parts. Flash the images into kernel 1 and uh, rootfs0. Look at the stock firmware. The kernel 1 partition starts from position 6000 and at A000. We can get the size of kernel 1 partition by doing a math. The numbers are in base 16. Switch to base 10, we see the partition size is actually 419431L4. The Padawan image combines the first part and the second part together, so we need to use dd command to extract the first 419431L4 bytes into a new image and flash it into the kernel 1 partition. Set the downloaded image as input source. Set default block size 419431L4. We extract only one block and uh, output the data into redmi.kernel1 file. Then extract the rest of the data into rootfs0. Set input source, set each block size. We skip the first block, then extract all the rest of the data into redmi.rootfs0. It's simple like this if you are familiar with dd command. Put the two images in the HTTP server root directory. Now we are going to exploit the stock firmware by attacking the PPPoE client. Start PPPoE server on my laptop. Remember to use the correct interface. Connect the router to the server. Start the PPPoE client on the router. Set server IP address as 177. Start netcat to sniff. Then run the exploit script. After the port is open, download the BusyBox to start a stable Ethernet demo. Start a new Ethernet session. Download the two images from the simple HTTP server. Use mtd command to flash them into kernel 1 and the root file system 0 partitions. Before reboot, don't forget to unlock the bootloader and set kernel 1 as the default boot partition, save the changes, and reboot. A few moments later, set laptop IP back to DHCP mode. We get our IP address from the router. Login, we see Padawan is really working on this device.
Not every OpenWRT or Padawan framework can be fleshed in this way. Only those frameworks which are designed, dedicated for this device can recognize this uh, weird partition table. Please leave your comments below and uh, let me know if there's another firmware for this device. Goodbye.